The Dust Bowl was one of the worst man-made ecological disasters in U.S. history. It ravaged the southern Great Plains for nearly eight years during the 1930s. Government agencies like the Sewell Conservation Service were dispatched to aid drought-stricken farmers and ranchers. Housed in the Special Collections Department here at Oklahoma State is a collection of images from the Sewell Conservation Service that document many aspects of the Dust Bowl. These images were captured on a lesser known format called glass lantern slides. Early photography had to attach to something, image had to be attached to something. So like today people are familiar with photographs that are on paper so that the image is attached to paper. Well for glass lantern slides, early negatives or, or images were often attached to glass. Uh, well when you have the image on one side of glass, then it can be easily damaged, uh, scraped off, destroyed. Uh, and so, but if you put a second piece of glass over that, now the image is sandwiched between two pieces of glass and it's protected. So what they would do is they would, they would create the image on one piece of glass, then slap another piece of glass over it, and then use tape usually around the edges to now create this glass lantern slide. And, and what was good about them is you could project those images then onto a screen. Now a crowd could look at pictures uh, together. Uh, and so before there were movies, Oftentimes people would gather to see glass lantern slide images. When the Soil Conservation Service was established in 1935, its agents started working with farmers to lessen the effects of soil erosion. Many of these agents documented their efforts on glass lantern slides. Usually the agents focused on, on um, implementing techniques they thought were going to be helpful. And so they would encourage farmers to, to like keep a crop, uh, if possible, on the field rather than plowing and, and exposing the soil. Uh, they worked with different ways of, of retaining moisture in soils. Uh, and so they just looked at a series of things, tried to provide options uh, for farmers and local communities to try different ways of, of keeping soil uh, in the field. Initially what they captured mostly was the damage, so people could see uh, in other locations this is the impact of continuing to do negative uh, or, or, or poor practices uh, in, in agriculture. Uh, but then they also began capturing images of improvements. Among other techniques, improvements included lister plows that created furrows to limit soil loss from winds, and contours that curbed erosion from water runoff. And so what they did is simply document different ways of, of uh, improvement uh, and the impacts of those. Uh, and so it's kind of a progression from the, from the damage uh, to dealing with it and then to the positive results from, from working with them. Most of the original slides were, were black and white, but some slides would be tinted. Uh, and some people were, were really good at tinting, and so they, they knew that certain soils would have like a sandy color, and so they would tint that. They would, they would tint the sky, you know, a blue, and they, they, they could get the clouds a white. And you don't know for sure if that's the authentic colors that these things were, but they sure make them seem much more alive uh, when they tinted them. A digital catalog of the slides is available at www.library.okstate.edu under the Digital Collections tab. Scroll to the bottom of the page and find the Soil Erosion and Conservation Collection. There you can see information on more than 500 slides. Glass lantern slides, besides being a unique kind of way of, of capturing images, um, truly document a, a period of time uh, in an environmental issue related directly to Oklahomans uh, and, and it's captured in a way that we can still understand today. If you see that image you can see there's a, there's a problem or there's a, a solution uh, in some cases uh, but you can see the, 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 uh, the dynamic uh, impact that the Dust Bowl and soil erosion uh, had on, on, on our citizens and our climate. I think it's important that we understand that, that what we do has an impact on nature and uh, you know, nature will, will do what it does. Um, and so we have to find out uh, how best to cope with those issues and, and, and live more in a balance uh, with the world around us. And the, and the glass lantern slides document all of that.